my subscribers and uh, anybody else that sees this. This is my personal message about Second Amendment rights, the freedoms in this country that are being slowly strangled from us as citizens of the greatest nation on the face of the planet. Some of you that have seen my MySpace, my videos, know that I'm an avid gun person. I won't say gun nut because I'm not a gun nut. I'm sane. Just like guns. This is an FAL. Try and get it all in here. Uh, I don't know what this gun cost base price, but for those of you that are familiar, this is a deactivated military version. You have semi and rock and roll. Now, it's been modified, a PSG-1 style grip, a Springfield government issued scope. It's got everything up here except the, uh, the muzzle brake or flash hider. Rubber padded butt stock, 20 round magazine, steel mags. It was a gun that was designed for a military, a military that was gonna go out and do a job. Whether that be to protect its borders or to hunt down an enemy on foreign soil and eliminate them. I am not a soldier, nor do I intend on becoming a soldier that does that with this gun. What I do intend on doing with this gun is cleaning it, maintaining it, buying the best possible ammunition I can for it, and trying my best to hit my target. Now, my target has never been a living thing. The crosshairs of this scope on this gun have never been placed on a human being or even an animal for that matter. I don't really even hunt. I've never at any point seriously considered taking this gun and shooting another human being with it. It is absolutely not in my list, I guess you'd say, of things to do. Barack Obama, who is going to be our president, wants to be your friend. But let me tell you what, for anyone that has not signed up for the NRA or similar gun groups, NRA being the pinnacle, key thing to remember, he wants to outlaw this gun. Now there's a lot of people that say I'm not against guns but I'm against this kind of gun because it's 20 shot repeat, it's a thousand yard accurate, 700 reliable, windage or not, with a spotter, non-spotter, you can hit with this gun if you know what you are doing. Well, let me explain something. I don't know anybody who's going to pay the amount of money that I did, and it's somewhere in the ballpark, uh, hit or miss, four grand or greater for this weapon. Four thousand dollars, Mr. Obama. Four thousand dollars for this gun. I'm not rich. I work for what I have. Four thousand dollars. I've never thought about shooting a human being with this gun. Never. Why, why is it unlawful? Why is it unethical? Why is it immoral for me to own this weapon? Why? Why is it immoral, unlawful, or unethical? Why is it unlawful for me to have a handgun? And while we're on the topic of handguns, your policy, if I'm correct, states that if I was married and had two little girls and an intruder high on methamphetamine with a beer bottle, no, let's say a machete, let's say a machete, a very deadly weapon, much larger than me, you can see I'm, I'm a black belt, but I'm not, I'm not physically large. If he's on meth, how am I supposed to overpower this guy? If he gets the first lick or if he hits me with this blade, I'm down. I can no longer at that point protect my wife and my two little girls. He intends to come in maybe to steal, but he's high. What if the kids scream? That might set him off. That might set him off. What if he wants to rape and murder or kidnap my two little girls or my wife? Leave me to die, unable to get to the phone. Them to die, kidnapped, raped, brutally. He has no remorse. Do you? 
If I had a gun, your policy states that if I was to shoot him in the leg, in the knee, with a light caliber weapon, trained in the weapon, trained with the bullet, trained to incapacitate, not mortally wound, to incapacitate to the degree to where if the police showed up, thereby arresting him, putting him in jail before he can murder, rape, or steal, or even take the dope again. I am the bad guy. I am the immoral bastard for shooting a man in self-defense to protect me, my family, and my neighbors because he could leave here and go over there, 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 anywhere. Take your damned pick and kill. Kill. That's what you think we're going to do with these guns, am I right? You think we're going to kill. Do you know, have you checked since the 20s when automatic weapons, I own no automatic weapons because they're too expensive and I don't see the point in them, but how many automatic weapons have been used in high profile or low profile crimes by the owner of the weapon? Do you know, Mr. Obama? Do you know? Two, check your statistics. Do you have any idea? Criminals that are in jail that have taken surveys have openly admitted that in a place where concealed carry is allowed, they're less likely to try and mug a woman. I'm not in any way, for some of you that may get angry, I am not in any way suggesting that women are inferior or weaker. But to a male criminal, you appear that way. Because most males see you as inferior. Mace, you can miss. Most of the time, the thought that the victim has a gun is enough to deter them. Most of the rest of that percent, if the gun becomes visible and is pointed in their general direction, that level of fear goes way up and they would rather go and prey on someone who cannot defend themselves. Now I recommend every woman take self-defense, every man take self-defense because you're not always going to have your gun and if you Mr. Obama take our guns from us which should be impeachment material then you're not going to have a gun to defend yourself. He wants to outlaw tasers Hell, he probably wants to outlaw butter knives. He probably would like to for us to eat with sharp fingernails. And even then, you might get a, you, you, a felony for sharp fingernails. Because we're the, we're the problem. The law-abiding citizens who pay for these weapons, who maintain them, who do not commit crimes with these weapons, we are the criminals. Not the guy that's been in jail 14 times. Not the guy that's raped two women and got off because of a technicality in the paperwork that the officer failed to remember. Where is your war on drugs? Where is your war on domestic violence? The guns are not the main problem. Agreed, some people don't need guns. Some don't. Some get them that don't need them. You can't pick and choose though who those people are because no one knows. No one. Violence does not solve problems. I'll agree with you on that. But taking these guns from me, who I will never harm another person with these intentionally. Never. Ever. I was raised with guns. Many men in my family and women were in the military. But I think you are a coward if you want to disarm me and my countrymen from a hobby or for the protection of our lives. That is a coward. You are a true coward. And your administration is full of cowards. Spineless cowards. The Second Amendment. Read it.